Hello everyone, welcome to Kumari's Kids channel. Today's story is going to be Jumping Home for Christmas. Let's get started. Christmas is here. Happy hair was chopping wood outside in the snow. It was very cold, but luckily he was wearing a thick scarf and warm hat. Although it was still morning, Hoppy was looking forward to night. Christmas Eve, the whole hair family would sit in their warm, cozy den and tell stories, enjoy dinner and warm themselves by the fire. Maybe Santa would even bring some presents. Hoppy was lost in, th in thought when he heard a sound in the distance. He pricked up his long ears. Did he hear that right? Help! Help! sounded a deep voice. Happy dropped his axe and ran as fast as he could in the direction it came from. Hoppy saw something red between the trees. Help! He now heard loud and clear. Hoppy started running a little faster. The figure was red with a little white here and there. As Hoppy came closer, he suddenly stopped. He couldn't believe his eyes. It was Santa. Hoppy's mouth fell open with surprise. In three big jumps, he hopped to Santa, who was sitting on his sleigh, packed with presents. Ho, 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 called Santa. When he saw Hoppy, hey, how nice of you to come. I'm a, be, I'm a bit stuck, you see, and I still have to deliver so many presents. Hoppy was so surprised he could, couldn't be, get a word out. Then he took another look. Where are you? Where are you, reindeer? asked Hoppy. My reindeer? Right. And that's exactly the problem, said Santa. You know, some of them were sick this morning. Very inconvenient at Christmas time. So only Rudolph could come with me. And that went well because rolled up is very strong, you know, but the rope with which with which he was pulling the sleigh snapped just now. Ho 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 And rolled up didn't notice a thing and just kept running. So here I am with my sleigh in the middle of the woods. Oh dear, said Hoppy. That sounds like a problem. Of course, it's a problem. And I have no idea how to fix it. Hoppy thought for a minute. I'm not strong enough to pull the sleigh, he said, looking sad. I can hear very well and run very fast, but that is one thing I can't do. Here, well, but that's fantastic, exclaimed Santa. Maybe you can hear where rolled up is. Why not? I could give it a try, thought Hoppy. He pricked up his car and closed his eyes to concentrate even better. He heard that he heard the wind whistling the woodpecker packing and even 
the snow falling and yes far away in the distance he could hear hoofs drumming in the snow i think i know where rolled up is said hoppy with a smile on his face santa's eyes began to shine and you are also a fast run runner before santa could even finish his sentence hoppy dashed off he ran and ran and he until he saw a red nose simmering through the trees and that's how hoppy brought santa and rolled up back together the day before christmas santa was overjoyed to show his appreciation he gave hoppy a big bag full of presents for him and his whole family hoppy jumped up and down with excitement there he this will also make the sleigh lighter said santa kindly shall rolled up and i take you home that's that won't be necessary but i thank you said hoppy i live nearby and i can run faster remember hoppy winked by santa by rolled up he cried as he jumped away they'll never believe this at home i thought hoppy they, sorry they'll never believe this at home thought hoppy not only did i meet santa i also saved christmas and on top of that i have a big full of presents hoppy was so excited that he wasn't watching where he was going oh dear thought hoppy after a while i think i'm a little lost and this back is heavier than i thought hoppy hopped from left to right but nothing looked familiar all trees look alike i must go or i'll be late for the christmas party he thought unhappily now i have a bag full of presents but they are no use if i can't give them hoppy was tired and ve- and very cold how he would love to sit in his cozy den with his family here i am thought hoppy oh christmas eve all alone in the wood hoppy sighed deeply hello hoppy he suddenly heard hoppy looked up he didn't see anyone that's funny thought hoppy now i'm starting to hear things that aren't there but there it was a gay gain loud and clear hello hoppy the voice came from above he heard hoppy looked up and saw large antlers with two friendly eyes and bright red nose in between rolled up exclaimed hoppy as he jumped up santa told me i'd better follow you for a while say rudo in and uh, rolled up the reindeer he is worried about you so come on hop on my back hoppy didn't need any any encouragement mac macwell the whole hair family had been look looking for hoppy around he the den for an hour hoppy they cried hoppy where where was he they wanted to start cl- celebrating christmas eve all of sudden mother hair poked grandpa hair look over there they all looked up open mouth rolled up the reindeer suddenly came out of woods 
and sitting on his back on his back was Hoppy. He was carrying a big bag full of presents. Never before uh, had Hoppy been so happy to see his family and after he thanked rolled up warmly they all went quickly inside your cozy den hoppy put the presents under the tree as they should only be open on christmas morning but that didn't matter because everyone was busy enjoying the hot chocolate the christmas wreath cookies and the story of hoppy's incredible adventure okay this is the end of uh, of the story and i'll see you guys in the next storytelling